What's up guys? Let me ask you something. Does this look alright? Of course it doesn't. It's terrible. But you can help me make it look less terrible by checking out my Patreon. We have a $5 tier. We have a $10 tier. We have a $20 tier. We have a $2,000 tier. Don't believe me? Just to... Just go look. So if you want to help me fix this mess and produce better content, go donate. Go donate. Go donate. Okay, go and go enjoy the rest of the video. Ah, yoga. An exercise designed to push your body to both its physical and spiritual limits, all while striving to reach a higher form of enlightenment through breathing, stretching, and visualizing. I'm going to try to do that shit for seven days. Hello everybody and welcome back to Web Carlos. I'm wearing a hat because I haven't showered yet this morning and my hair looks disgusting, so you're welcome. So as you saw in my last video, I set a lot of goals for myself for this upcoming year. And one of my main goals was to kind of get in shape, but more or less, I mean to better myself. And I think the best way to better myself is by trying new things. And so, uh, yoga just seemed like the most logical thing to try. It's a very popular form of you know, meditation and self-improvement and, you know, uh, just taking some time aside and really uh, dedicating a moment to yourself. So it's something I wanted to try. Now keep in mind I've never recorded a video like this, but I suppose there's a first time for everything. So if you hate it, keep it to yourself and don't tell me. But also leave it down in the comments below and maybe hit a thumbs up or thumbs down depending on whether or not you want to see more content like this. Just saying. Before we jump into day one, I want to mention that for the majority of this experiment, I was using the same three videos over and over again, which... Now that I think back on it, probably wasn't the best practice. I probably should have tried to like switch it up here and there, but uh, I didn't, so maybe next time. So let's go ahead and jump into day one. So the plan for day one was to start early in the morning, uh, get a jump on the day by doing some early morning yoga and just seeing how I felt from there. I was only going to do 10 minute sessions and see how I felt afterwards. Also Lorena decided to join me on this journey so she'll be in the video as well. So we got a little bit of a late start on day one. The original plan was just to lay down a bunch of blankets and then try it from there. But we wanted to do it properly so we decided to go to Target and buy some cheap mats uh, just so that we have something a little more comfortable, a little more cushioned on the floor when doing this. Day one helped us to realize our weaknesses and strength and where we were probably going to struggle the most while doing this. I had a really hard time taking it seriously because a lot of the terminology they use while doing yoga is a lot of like, you know, breathe from your heart, open your third eye, extend your soul to this. It's, it's, uh, it's a bunch of like, uh, I think the term is woo woo or something like that. It's just a bunch of weird stuff and I'm not usually open to that kind of thing. I try to keep myself as a more grounded person. When it comes to things that are like more spiritual or stuff like that, I just, I'm not too open to it, but I did my best to take it seriously. I did all the breathing, I did all the visualization, and uh, I gotta say it actually felt good. Um, as far as like the, the physical aspect of yoga, I think I did terribly. I'm really not flexible. I don't have a whole lot of upper body strength, and on top of that, I really can't sit in a cross leg position properly for too long because it hurts my knees, ankles, butt, and back. So, uh, a lot of it was really tough for me, actually. But I kind of sat back and told myself, well, you know what, this is day one. I'm sure things will improve as we go. Day two went a little bit differently. Seeing as how we got a late start on day one, I think we didn't do our first session of yoga on day one until like, well, until three o'clock in the afternoon. We decided to not only challenge ourselves to do yoga for seven days, but to also try getting up at 5 a.m. and doing yoga for seven days, which I actually did pretty well at. I was surprised that uh, Lorena had a harder time waking up in the morning than I did, but she eventually got up and we were able to do it. On top of that, we decided it would probably be best if not only doing yoga in the morning, but also doing it at night as well to help us go to sleep easier. And I gotta say, I actually enjoyed that a lot. Uh, it was nice to have something in my day that was consistent and that I could rely on to relax. So we did get up at 5 a.m., we did our morning yoga, and then whenever we decided that we were going to go to bed, because we didn't really set a bedtime like we should have in order if we were going to get up at 5 a.m., but basically whenever I was done working or whenever we would come home from whatever we were doing, uh, that's when we did our nighttime yoga. And for nighttime yoga, I decided to find exercises that were a little more focused on breathing and meditation and relaxation or a bunch of like wind down yogas 
something that'll really like relax our body as opposed to the morning yoga, which was more heavily focused on waking your body up and you know getting your blood pumping. Now, day three is when things started to kind of go a little more downhill. So everything was pretty much fine. I mean, physically we were doing better. Uh, we could feel our bodies getting more loose in the mornings and being more awake afterwards. Uh, my days were way more productive after doing yoga and my sleep was a lot deeper after doing it at night. But when day three came around, it went downhill because we just didn't wake up in time. I think day three, we ended up getting up somewhere around 8.30 to 9 o'clock before we actually started our morning session of yoga. And then on top of that, we didn't even do our nighttime yoga. To be honest, I don't remember what we had going that day. I'm sure we went out with friends or we did something and we just didn't make it a priority the way we should have. And because of that, uh, we just missed out on it all together. So we didn't get to do our nighttime session on day three and our morning session started late. So that was a bit rough. And I say it goes downhill because day four is non-existent. We actually, we got up real late on day four. I don't remember what time, but we got up real late. We didn't do any yoga all day, not for the morning, not for the night. But I do remember that that day I wasn't very productive. So I can actually vouch for the fact that yoga in a way was making me more productive and making me want to do more and like make more out of my day because without it I was just lazy and I was watching videos and not only that but like on the on the few days that I did yoga like the, the first three days that I did yoga um, I was more encouraged to like take my medicine and check my blood pressure and check my weight and go for a walk and you know just be more active generally it was just something that like it was a good way to start my day since I don't drink coffee or anything like that I guess you could say that Morning yoga was basically my morning cup of coffee. It got me energized and it got me ready for my day. So day four, not having that, it really did make an impact, strangely. So since we had been doing so bad on the previous days, day five was our redemption. Day five was the day that we came back, we got our crap together, and we did this. So we got up on time, day five, five o'clock, did our morning yoga and it felt amazing, you know, because we had been doing it already a couple of days, the few times that we did it, you know, our bodies already felt more energized throughout the week. So not just, it wasn't just affecting our day, but it was affecting our week as well by doing yoga, you know. We wanted to be more productive, we wanted to try harder at this, and so, you know, we rocked it in the morning. We got up early, we did it, it felt great, and then we didn't do it in the evening. We forgot to do our bedtime yoga and we ended up just knocking out. This just comes to show that no matter what kind of goals you set for yourself, life is always gonna get in the way because I think again, on that day, we were either out with friends or I was with family or something like that, something that I decided to make more of a priority than yoga, which, you know, if it was family, it's rightly so, but if you set yourself goals, there's always gonna be something that's gonna happen or something that's gonna make you skip a day or kind of stray away from it. And in the end, it's gonna feel like you've, you know, you've failed, but in reality, that's just how it goes. You know, you don't always have time for the things that you wanna make time for because there are so many other factors in your life and there's so many other factors in the day that are gonna get in the way. So no matter what you do, you can't help it if you can't do, I, I couldn't help it if I couldn't do yoga early in the morning or in the evenings, well, in the morning, yes. In the evening, no. Because I didn't always know what my day was going to bring or how I was going to feel or if my emotions were going to get the best of me. And I just decided, hey, you know what? I'm having a very depressed day. I don't even want to try, which happens more often than you'd think. After day five, I can honestly say that the experiment was a bit of a failure because we didn't do a day six and we didn't do a day seven. And it would be very easy for me to just record four sessions in a row or record on two other days and then fit it in the middle and tell you guys that, you know, hey, we did it. We did seven days of yoga and you can do it too. But the truth is, is that we didn't. Some days we just felt lazy. Some days we were depressed. Um, some days we just had other stuff to do, you know? And again, that's life rearing its ugly head and getting a little bit in the way of the things that we want to accomplish. I know I already said that the experiment was pretty much a failure because we didn't follow through, but when you really think about it, I don't think it was. Because in the end, I did learn a valuable lesson and I did try something new. And because of it, I feel like I've grown in some small way as a person. If anything, I learned that life is always gonna keep me from the stuff I wanna do and it's just up to me to make that stuff a priority. So in the future, 
I think I want to try doing a full 30 day challenge. I did find a 30 day challenge on YouTube by a YouTuber named Yoga with Adrian. And we followed a few of her sessions before and I really enjoyed them. So I think I'm going to try doing this 30 day session uh, whenever I have the time. And maybe I'll record it and make a video about it. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing something like that. Doing a full 30 days as opposed to just one week of yoga. But for now, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this or if you have any ideas for other challenges that you want me to try, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, hug somebody you love. Alright, y'all have a good one.